Hey, it's Scott from BS Games. Uh, we have a game going on here. It's a prototype, a party word game called Say What Now? And we're going to show you how to play this now. We are at Dicey Business. It's a uh, board game cafe in Mississauga. It's down by the Meadowvale Ghost Station. It's one of our favorite places to hang out. The grilled cheese sandwich is awesome. <laughs> so we come here all the time, hang out with our friends, play some games. Uh, so they've uh, allowed us to use their, their space today to show you some Say What Now? Here's how it works. We're going to show you how to play. All right, we start here with three decks of cards. This one is nouns and verbs. This one's all adjectives. This one's what we call joining words. They are prepositions, uh, pronouns, conjunctions, things like that. You don't have to be a grammatical expert to know how this plays. You'll figure it out as you go along. That's just to keep tra track of the different uh, decks of cards. Over here we have the dice. The dice have colors on them uh, that correspond to the decks of cards. So we have blue ones for adjectives, pink ones for nouns and verbs, yellow ones for joining words. Anything that comes up white means just don't pick a card. And if you come up with a black one, that means it's wild. It's your choice. You also have the option of using all of these add-ons, we call them. These add-ons are things like S's and ES's and uh, ellipses and periods and ING's. Anything to make your sentence more grammatical or just to make more sense, because that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be creating random sentences from random words. Okay, and once you have created your sentence, everyone else is going to use their situation cards to figure out where they've heard that sentence, where they've heard that phrase before. They will then pass to the person who created that phrase or sentence, face down their card, that person will then shuffle up the cards and then read them out loud and choose which one is their favorite, whichever one they think is the, the funniest, the most appropriate, the least appropriate perhaps, to go with the phrase that they've created. Okay. So with our uh, volunteers here, um, that's the first player. Okay. Amazing. And our first player will take these dice and roll them. Okay, so you're going to take one pink and two blue cards. And then pass, oh sorry, pass the dice to the person on the left who will do the same thing. Look at your cards, see if you can create a phrase, you can keep it yourself for now. You have free use of all of these pieces here. Don't take any of these yet, but you can have a sense of what you're going to take when your turn comes around. All right, so two blues, two pinks, pass the dice to the person on your left. While you're doing that, shuffle all these situation cards and deal these out with these. These ones are really bad. Oh my goodness, that's going to be challenging, but uh, see what you can do. You'll notice that on the yellow ones, uh, the joining words, there are two words on each card. You cannot use both. You can use one or the other. Okay, I'm just going to deal out your situation cards too. You're going to have four of these. Okay, so once you have your phrase created, you can just sort of put it face down in front of you until everybody is ready. Okay, as a first player completed. Okay, and did you want to include any of these to add to your phrase? Uh, I'll just add an S. Okay. To cover it. Excellent. All right, so then you're going to read your phrase in the way you want it to be understood by the other players. We're then going to read their situation cards and decide which card they have best matches your your phrase. Wide governments first. All right. So other players will all go through your situation cards. And then slide it across the table. <clears throat> don't pick them up till they're all there. You're going to shuffle them under the table so you don't know who gave you which one. And you'll choose your favorite after reading them out all of them. Oh, hold on. It's got to be a perfect one or something. What are you? Okay. On some of the cards, there will be a blank space with quotes around it. That's where you read the, the words in the, in the middle there. Okay, so. I hear the government is trying to make that illegal. All right. That was my seller's feedback on eBay. And the inspirational phrase that gets me out of bed in the morning. <laughs> um, Which of those? 
to you. I'm going to go for the inspirational phrase that gets me out of bed in the morning. All right, whose was that one? All right, so we hand that over to the player who played it. They hang on to that to indicate uh, how many points they've got. Uh, the first player to get to five wins the game. All right, so we create a discard pile for all the ones that weren't used. These ones are all blue, blue, pink. And then the player to the left then shares their phrase. Anyone who played a situation card gets another one back to replenish it. There we go. Just place it right here. Um, all right. Nope, so I know it's crossed, we can all see it. It's not what I thought it was. This is what I think it is, I think. Yes. There you go. Alright, let's move that aside. Alright, so what did you come up with? Quietly squash, throw wisely. Quietly squash, throw wisely. <laughs> Other players will then choose their situation that best fits this. Sorry. <laughs> Shuffle this about. Anyone who played a situation card can take anyone to replenish it. We have that was my best pickup line. <laughs> uh, well, that's gonna be a hard to beat. Um, one of my wedding vows. Well, okay, and uh, my high school's motto. <laughs> well, <laughs> that this is gonna be a hard one. <laughs> they're all they're all amazing. Um. I'm gonna have to go with that with my best pickup line. Alright, who's that? That okay. was me. Okay, so take that one, we'll return these. We'll put these back into discard piles, and the next player share there. Right. It's true. Glen Elbow. <laughs> nice. Then you can just flip all these upside down to cover them where you're not using. All right, so read that the way you want us to understand it. But through when elbow. But through when elbow. Nope. God, I these are supposed to go here. Uh, yes, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, it's Major symptom of the mysterious new disease. <laughs> the actual last words of Sir Isaac Brock at the Battle of Queenston Heights. Um, that's my horoscope for today. <laughs> I'll go with mysterious new disease. <laughs> no, cool. That's interesting because Brock was actually shot through the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright. It's tough one when you get a lot of yellow ones, but that worked out okay. Calling one tree. <laughs> hmm. Translations of runes found in Viking tomb. That's the first line in my Tinder profile. <laughs> That's the phrase that the government keeps beaming into my head with their mind control uh, satellites. Uh, the Tinder profile. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> On a roll. All right. <laughs> 
so that then would be one round because everyone's had a chance to go. What we do from here is we'd, the first player would move to the left and we'd start again when the first player would roll their dice, pass the dice to the next person, and we keep carrying on that way. Uh, the first person to five doesn't win, win right away. When someone gets to five, you finish the round, and then whoever has the most points will win the game. Plan. And there you go. And that's our introduction to uh, Say What Now. Sometimes with smaller crowds, you can play with a dummy hand, so you always put in a dummy one. And it's funny to see how often the actual game itself wins the whole, like it'll get five mm, yeah. before everybody else. Yeah, it's pretty good how many times the situations uh, come up that are, uh, they just happen to work really well with the nonsense phrases you come up with. So, And uh, there's a lot of replayability too because of the randomness of which ones you choose from. So the chance of you getting the same number, uh, same uh, results again is very low. And even if you do somehow happen to get the same rolls and then the same cards, Players might not even put together the same phrase. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like an infinite number of different phases you can come up with. So there you go. And there's that.